Hi, this is Tech Lady coming back at you with another new video showing you a little bit about how I've turned out of 2009 Honda Odyssey van into a part-time camper van. Now this van is used in the household for other purposes, so can't really do a full build out or um, you know take all the seats out or any of that. But I just want to show you just a quick video. It's not the fanciest thing, but it does work for what I use it for. I travel part-time and work on film sets, and sometimes you stay over late and have to camp out. First of all, I'm going to show you how I treated the windows. I just bought some inexpensive um, sun visors and cut them out to fit the, you know, the front side window. And then the side windows I have cutouts, but I also just put a black inside curtain in there. And you can tell it's pretty blacked out. You can't really see in there. Take you around the back of the van. I've got a screen there. You can't really see inside there. I'll pause a moment and go to the other side. Here we go, here's the other side of the van. As you see, I got the passenger, you know, reflective cut out. Notice I made a little peephole in case I'm in there and want to look out. The side window, I've got a black curtain I'll put up in there when I'm camping. The back window has a curtain up, and as you see, you just can't really see in there. So this has kind of worked out as far as I just wanted my van to look like if I'm parked, you know, in a hospital parking lot or a hotel parking lot, I just wanted to look like just an ordinary van. I just didn't want to stand out like I was, you know, camping or anything. Anyway, we'll take a quick look at the inside. As you can see, I had to keep the front seats in, you know, the ones right behind the driver and the passenger. So like I mentioned, we use this van for other purposes during the week. And sometimes we have passengers, so I just had to keep these seats in. I can scoot them forward if I have to, but it, you know, works out, you know, pretty good what I use it for. Right there, I keep a cooler. I just leave it there at all times. And I don't have them pulled closed, but I have these curtains right here. Um, you can pull those together and create privacy there for when you're sleeping in the back. And, well, of course, you know what's in that bag. Sometimes when you gotta go, you gotta go. You gotta keep that handy. Let's take you around to the back of the van. Okay, this is the back of the van. Now, I can put a curtain across here to uh, add privacy when I'm in here sleeping. Now, what I did, because we do use this van for other purposes, is um, I'm small enough, I can sleep on top of those tubs right there. There's, I've got a yoga mat, and this, I will, um, you can blow this up with your foot, and it'll stretch out all the way across, and I can just put my feet over towards where the five-gallon bucket is. I'll scoot that forward. Here, I try to keep everything that works on solar power. This is a lamp. I had this on for 24 hours one time. It charges by solar, or you can use USB. Just very handy gadget. Let me just show you a couple other features here. So you've got that feature. I'm going to pause a minute. I'm going to show you how the fan works. Whoops. Had a little mishap there. Something's what happens when you try to do a video all by yourself. Anyway, I've got the fan going. This will keep you cool. Plus, you've got a light. There's your USB if you want to charge that way, or you can just use the solar. That's what I prefer to use, the solar. Everything's solar, so if you're out and about boondocking or just don't want to rely on power. Now, in these two cabinets you see, now I just picked those up at Walmart. They're not the fanciest thing, but they hold everything you need for just camping. The bottom drawer here... I keep, you know, a first aid kit, carabinas, um, a kit if you break down the highway, jumper cables, batteries if you need them, scissors, just all kinds of different things here. This drawer here is where all my food is. This top drawer, now this is interesting. I got a, a sun kettle here that I keep. It'll heat up water 
in about 30 40 minutes an emergency radio I just keep it in bubble wrap you can charge it solar or it has the crank got to keep one of these emergency radio this is another um, pop-up lantern charge it by solar everything solar anything you can think of by it solar now this duffel bag I know it looks a little wonky sitting there, but that's got my sleeping bag, a tent. I bought a tent that pops up in three minutes, if not less. Actually, I think it's three seconds pops up. I've got a blanket in there, full sleeping bag down filled, and a, two, a folding chair and a stool. Also, I've got a camp stool I keep right here. Folds up, it's very handy. This is where you put your water in when you're going to be gone a while. Holds up five gallons of water. And we'll take you around the other side real quick. Okay, now I'm inside the van. Then the second set of drawers you see. Here I keep, um, you know, some little bags, small backpacks, you know, things if you need to throw something in there. And I've got a blanket in there that you can heat up 12 volt, like, a mini like an electric blanket. Here in this second drawer, personal items, toiletries and such, and I have a small refrigerator that will run off 12 volt. If I want to pull it out, sometimes I'll just set it in the front seat while I'm traveling and have a little mini fridge down there. Oh, here's another item. Solar power flashlight. Never need batteries. This is perfect. A lot of different lights. You got a tool to break a window if you had to or a protection. Cut a seat belt. It's got a compass on there. This is perfect. Now back over here. Here is my power source. I bought this on sale, this Jackery, for less than $200. And I thought it'd be perfect if you need some additional power. You've got your 12 volt USB and electric plug here. I just unzipped that for you. I usually keep it zipped up. I've got my pillow in the corner here. I'm going to show you where I keep my solar panel. So you can see my curtains hanging up there. I have a set that I also can put on these side windows too. Let me pause for a minute. I'll show you something else. Okay, this is the other side of the van. So you can see I just keep these curtains open now, but I can close those to give all this area privacy. So here back you can't see. Now in this little cubby hole here, bear with me. There's a bucket you can unfold for washing. And I've got a, quote, real coffee maker here. Should I stay in a hotel or have some way to plug something in, I can plug in. It does not run off anything but just the regular electric. Then, pillow and my solar panel that came with the Jackery. I just keep it right here in the bubble rack. I can get to it if I need to. And this black kind of round thing, that's a pop-up tent just mainly for changing clothes or if you want to have privacy for the restroom it's just it's about six feet tall three by three just a little pop-up tent so I know it's a little primitive but you know it works for me I just do this part-time if I'm on the film set and it's late and I just need to crash and don't want to pay for hotel um, I've been pleased with it. I'm going to take it on the road some more, work on any imperfections. I do wish the drawers were a little sturdier. I've had a little problem with that bottom one. You can kind of see. Um, got some tape holding it. I think maybe I got too much weight in that, but I can work on that. Um, if I ever did this full time, I would um, probably do a little bit more of a build out. But see, I can take this stuff out, move it around, and fully function as it is this is tech lady just showing you a few of my gadgets while i travel on the road oh failed to mention i do keep a portable cb radio in here and a miniature tv just keep them under the console by the driver's seat and they run off 12 volt and the cb radio of course is well it takes a lot of batteries but i can use a 12 volt with it as well so let me pause to give you another quick view of the van from the outside. Again, this is Tech Lady. I'm just coming back at you. Just a quick recap of how I'm progressing with my Honda Odyssey van. 
no build camper style van just doing it part time since we use the van for other you know things and need to keep a couple of the seats in place more next time tech lady over and out